What up, peeps? Tony Baker here, back with another movie review. This time I'm reviewing Tyler Perry's Mia Culpa on Netflix, the Netflix original movie, man. I'll be the first, second, and third to tell you I'm not the biggest Tyler Perry fan. You know what I'm saying? Not not him as a person, but just him as a as a writer. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm kind of kind of not really a fan. You know, he has his brand, he has his lane, but I feel like within his lane, it's just it just lacks strength and like diversity and, and believability. So I was I was kind of cool on watching it, and I was just like, oh, this Tyler Perry thing is really not my bag. But I was like, you know what? Everybody was talking about it. Everybody was posting about it. It was doing numbers. I was like, man, let me pull up on Mia Culpa. I like Kelly Rowland's face, so I'm pulling up. It stars Kelly Rowland as an attorney who decides to take on the defense case for a guy named Zaire who's accused of killing his girlfriend. The problem is her brother-in-law is the district attorney who's trying to put him away. So that goes at odds with the family. Mind you, the family hates Kelly Rowland. Like her husband's mom and brother, they not feeling her whatsoever. You know what, she not feeling them. She tired of the relationship with her husband and her mom, you know what I'm saying, and the ex. The mom loves her husband's ex more than her. Just the disrespect, just out, out the gate. So we open up with, you know, problems in the marriage. Big surprise on the Tyler Perry tip. Now, mind you, spoiler alert. I'm doing a spoiler review. So if you haven't seen it yet and you plan on watching it, turn this off because I'm, I'm about to tell all the business on how I feel. And her husband lost his job. So pretty much the financial burden falls on Kelly. And you know, she's still, she's at odds with her husband about the ex, the ex-girlfriend and the mom. So we've already established that it's trouble in paradise. So we like, oh, this is where the cheating comes in when she meets the, the artist guy that's on trial for murder. And he all up in there masculine and sexy, but he's artistic and he has a loft. Why everybody got a loft? Why, why the loft? When we talking about, oh, this is gonna be a sexy, erotic type, they in the loft. Is, are lofts sexy to y'all? Like when y'all go in the loft, are you like, man, I need to take my clothes off and smash in here. Is that how you react to lofts? I just need to know, because they love a good loft. And when you got a painter, an artist, they be like, I call this piece Midnighted Blue. And like, all right, man, all right. And that, that's the problem, like Trevante Rhodes, I know he's a heartthrob, you know what I'm saying? I get it, he's masculine, you know what I'm saying? In shape, you know what I'm saying? I get it, ladies, I get it. And Kelly Rowland is, Kelly Rowland fine. So you like, man, we, we got Kelly Rowland, we got Trevante Rose, but ain't no chemistry. There's no, there was no sexual chemistry between them. Like when I was watching them interact, I didn't feel no chemistry. It felt like, it felt like Kelly Rowland's real husband was behind the camera <laughs> on the shoot days. That was the that was the energy I was getting. And he was just like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know, I met her down here and I be, you know, I be smashing girls. It was like, it was highly sexual. Everything they was talking about was highly sexual. I was like, yo, this doesn't feel like attorney client conversation. Now, mind you, there was blood found in his apartment that leaked down into the apartment underneath. Skull fragments were found in the painting. It was just like, yo, what the hell happened to this? But they, they didn't have a body. They, they couldn't find anything. So it was just like a little sus on that tip. And she's meeting with him at his loft alone. I'm like, yo, man, what kind of what kind of attorney is meeting with somebody that's on trial for murder alone at their loft repeatedly? I'm like, what? Would this even happen for real? And ladies, if you were an attorney and you represent your client, he's on trial for murder, murdering his girlfriend that he was having sex with. Are you sexually aroused? Are you attracted to this? I feel like your coochie would dry up if you was like, yo, this dude is a murderer. I feel like that dries the coochie out. And not like a cool murderer where he's like, I'm gonna I'm a handle my business. No, this is a murderer of women. I feel like coochies would be dried up every conversation, especially the way he was talking. He wasn't even subtle. There was no there was no subtle nuances, man. Of course he gonna be like, oh, you like that pain right there? What do you see when you look at it? What do you see? It was just too much. Hold, close your eyes. Hold the prank brush. It was just like, man, you trying to butter it on too thick, man. Oh, man, let me take you, let me give you a ride home. Hop on my motorcycle. Oh, you don't wanna hop on the back of the motorcycle? And she's like, no, like, oh, come back. And then he got mad because she wanted to meet in the office instead of his law. 
Oh, yeah, man, I don't, don't want to be here, man. Just meet me at my law. And then get back to the law, I'm attracted to you. I want to have sex with you. I love you. I'm like, bruh, bruh, you just talking about fucking mad chicks. Excuse my language, but that's what he was doing. And then he was forcing the sexuality. There was no subtle nuances. He, he going to take her to the sex club without her knowing. No consent. Yeah, we just going to the sex club. And just leaves her there. Goes in there, wanders off, leaves her by herself at the sex club. And now she just, I'm sorry I did that to you. I'm sorry. Like, how how was this attractive? And then, then, he like, man, you ain't about this life, Mia. You know what, just get out. I got I got company coming over. A naked, a naked woman shows up, naked with pumps on. And she's still there. And then she leaves. And then, you know, he's in the loft, so he has to, press the button so you can take the elevator out of his apartment but he just gonna let her sit there and watch him receive head from this random naked woman that just popped up he's like yeah look at me getting head you want it don't you and then she leaves and then cut to she has a best friend like a felt like a best friend who's also her private investigator he gives bad intel that her husband was at the hotel with the ex he fumbled that because it was something else going on because his mom was staying at that hotel. So he's like, look, look at what look at look at what I just saw, Mia. So Mia looks at that in the car and then goes back into the loft. She goes back into the loft. He's smashing the girl. The girl is riding him on the driest rides I've seen in a long time. The, the ride was dry as hell. So he's just like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? The girl gets up, walks off, leaves. Then Kelly goes in there and starts kissing him. I'm just like, wait a, hold on. You're not going to rinse off? There was no, there was, was the, was the condom on? Was they going raw? You, you making out? He got the crusted over shaft. He got the crusted over shaft. The man meat is crusted over. They getting, they getting into it right here, right now? This is unsanitary. So then they like, all right, slow down. I knew you might not be ready for it. So they don't do nothing, but they was just making out. So he gets dressed. He puts his pants on. All of this is just the same shot. The girl was riding him. She gets all walks off. He starts kissing on Kelly. And then she's like, oh, I just need a minute. He puts his pants on over the crust. No rinse off. No bird bath. They go out, they ride on the motorcycle, and then they come back, and then they smash in the paint, covered in paints. I don't know why he pulled the paints out, but they, they covered in paint. They smash and roll with the paint. So we got the paint in the coochie pumps. I'm like, man, this is so unrealistic. This is ridiculous. It's not sexy. I wasn't believing it. I wasn't turned on. Zero arousal. So then we get back to the story and it's just like, yo, man, we, we know you cheating. The family knows she cheating. And then they find all this out. They tell the husband. She goes to the Dominican Republic just to, I guess, just to escape everything that's going on. Let me go to the Dominican Republic just to go to this resort. She goes to the resort. She finds the girl working there was the girl that they claimed that he murdered. She was there working at the resort. Now, what kind of horse shit is this? She just happened to go to the Dominican Republic and the girl happened to work at the resort she was at. Come on, man. So then her brother-in-law was like, oh, oh, come stay with us. I'll send my investigator there to get her. You know, this is that and the third. Turns out everybody was in on it. They said they were trying to set him up for murder because the brother-in-law's wife had already cheated with Zaire. And so he was trying to get revenge on him by planting the blood and the skull fragments where they got the blood and the skull fragments from, I don't know. They never explain it. So this little plot twist just comes out of nowhere. Mad unbelievable. The whole family's in on it. And so now it's just like, so y'all was doing all this to set this man up because your wife slept with him. And now, now you set it up to where the, the, other, the other girl is going to sleep with him as well. It was just like, bro, this is ridiculous. And so the movie made no sense. Movie made no sense. It lacked it lacked real sexual chemistry between the leads. And I was just like, man, this ain't it. I was pissed. I want my money back. I'm mad nobody rinsed off. Crusty smash with the paint inside the coochie. Nah, man. But forget all that, man. Here's my smooth jazz review of Mia Copa. Oh yeah. I'm giving this movie 
one and a half saxophones out of five. I'm giving it one and a half because Kelly Rowland and Shannon are just good looking. That's it. They getting the saxophone. And then the half is just, just I'm going to just throw the half on there. It was ridiculous, man. Tyler Perry, I'm going to need you to just stop. You ain't got to write everything no more. You ain't got to do this no more. You can hire some, some quality, robust writers because you are not quality and robust. But he be doing the numbers, so what can we say? All I know is this, man. Crusty penises with the paint over the... T and you just gonna smash in the paint. Raw. Raw. Ugh. All right, peeps, that's my review of Mia Copa. Let me know what you thought of the movie in the comments section below. Did you believe the leads? Did you find that they had chemistry? Let me know in the comments section below. And were y'all just turned off by the lack of just sanitary practices within these love scenes? I get it, you know what I'm saying? Be, be sexually adventurous. I'm not mad at that, but come on, man. The rinse off. The rinse, y'all was forcing the sexy and there was nothing sexy about it, man. Let me know in the comment section below what you like, brother. Anyway, uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as usual, we out here.